Hello. Before we start, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In today's video, we will calculate the wind load. What is the wind impact on lifting operation? What is the impact of wind on the load? When the wind hit the load, it causes the load to swing in the same direction as the wind. As a result, the vertical downward force exerted on the boom by the load is no longer present. The outcome is dependent upon the strength of wind force and the size of cargo surface area that is exposed to the wind. During the planning stage, it is important to consider the impact of large surface areas or high drag coefficients of the cargo base on the maximum allowable wind speed because it's important to reduce maximum permissible wind speed according to the manufacturer's specifications. Before starting the work, crane operator must know the expected maximum wind speed on the site. This is sample website that you can use for checking the wind speed. It's depend on the place. You can check your local weather forecast. In this example, we have task to lift the cargo on top of the building. The weight of the cargo is 40 ton with height of 10 meter and width of 8 meter. Calculate the permissible wind load for the crane. This is drag force coefficient based on the shape of the cargo. This is the formula. We will use for calculation. Maximum projected area of cargo exposed to the wind is depend on the shape of the cargo. Please take note this list of formula we will use for calculation. Also bring out your calculator so you can follow me in my calculation. See the below sample. You need to consider always the maximum area of the cargo exposed into the wind for your calculation. Based on the given formula, start to substitute the given value into formula and do the calculation. After getting the value of maximum surface area of the cargo, multiply it to the drag coefficient to get the surface area exposed to the wind. This is the sample crane data permissible wind speed base on the boom length of the crane. You can check to your crane manufacture manual base on the configuration you will use. For this example, I will use 9.8 meter per second the allowable wind speed from the crane data. Start to substitute the given data into the formula. Permissible wind speed from crane data. Cargo weight surface area exposed to wind base in calculation the permissible wind speed reduce from 9.8 meter per second to 7.4 meter per second you should not lift the cargo if the wind speed in your site is more than this value now let's try to change the surface area exposed to the wind and all other data is the same let's see the different although the result exceeds the allowed wind speed based on the crane data. However, we must still take into account the manufacturer's recommended 9.8 meter per second which is lower than the calculated wind speed.